We've got breaking news right now. Lawyers for Rudy Giuliani have been told that he is the target of a criminal investigation in Georgia looking into election interference. This is according to the New York Times, who spoke to one of Giuliani's attorneys. And it comes as Giuliani is set to appear before a special grand jury in Atlanta. I want to bring back former prosecutor and civil rights attorney Charles Coleman. What's the significance of the lawyer being informed your client, Rudy Giuliani, is a target? Well, Chris, this is a big deal. It is the difference between you being a witness and you being the actual defendant in terms of the potential for what this entails. What we know is that Fonnie Willis down in Fulton County in Georgia has been really building a case to deal with the election interference that occurred in 2020. She's been talking to uh, Lindsey Graham. She's been talking to, you know, everyone who was around this situation. And before now, Rudy Giuliani had been subpoenaed as a witness in, in terms of trying to deal with the investigation and gather facts. But now at this point, what this says is that there's been enough information to understand that Rudy Giuliani is a target, meaning that he is a potential defendant. So his attorney, his strategy around what he does when he shows up in Fulton County is entirely different. Now there are different things that he can do in terms of invoking the fifth, in terms of not necessarily testifying in front of the grand jury because he has that right not to do so, but understanding that when that grand jury comes back with a decision, his name can end up on an indictment. So let's just remind folks, and I will read from the story that was just posted by the New York Times about exactly what Rudy Giuliani's role in all this may be. December 2020, he spent hours peddling false conspiracy theories about secret suitcases of Democratic ballots and corrupted voting machines. Mm -hmm. Well, even in a country where we rely on free speech as being one of our most fundamental tenets, the reality is when you peddle lies of this nature at this level, they have consequences. And that's the thing that we see. Rudy Giuliani, in the wake of the 2020 election, went around the country and in Georgia being one of those places and spoke to a number of different state legislatures, peddling lies and falsehoods that he knew to be unfounded and untrue as a means of trying to influence the outcome of this election. And we, there were many consequences for this. And in this case, in Georgia, there were a number of different things that we saw. We saw fake electors trying to be used. We saw the uh, uh, state sec secretary of state attempted to be called to find 11,000 plus votes. So all of this stemmed from this type of peddling of these lies. And that's a result of why we are here now in so many different respects. And Fonnie Willis has decided that, look, we're not going to take that. We're going to move forward. And that's why Rudy Giuliani is now a target. And one of the key questions obviously is, why did you do this? Was it under someone's direction that you did this? And already one of his lawyers, Mr. Costello, said Mr. Giuliani would probably invoke attorney-client privilege if asked questions about his dealings with Mr. Trump. If these people think he's going to talk about conversations between him and President Trump, they're delusional. Well, listen, what I can tell you as a former prosecutor is that in the most perfect of worlds, this would put a certain number, uh, a certain amount of pressure on Rudy Giuliani to come forward and possibly give up information about Donald Trump. That's the big fish, obviously, for any prosecutor in this situation. But if Rudy Giuliani decides that he wants to be a loyalist and say, well, look, I'm not going to divulge that information because under attorney-client privilege, I can't. He may have an argument there, but that's not going to exempt him from what he did in front of state legislatures in terms of peddling lies that he knew to be untrue. So he's faced with a choice here to the extent that he would be able to divulge information and that that information exists and he can get around attorney-client privilege uh, in some fashion in terms of talking about crimes that he was asked to commit on behalf of Donald Trump by Donald Trump. He now has to decide, is my loyalty worth more than my freedom? Let's make a deal or not, right? Exactly. Charles Coleman, thank you so much for sticking around. Appreciate it.